Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 2, Week 11, Hands-On Science Experiment, which is the solar system model. And so a few weeks ago we did the, the outdoor model, proportional model of the solar system with the different size balls, and we measured out um, how far apart they should be spaced. And today we're going to get to make our own model of this the solar system on paper and so I just want to show you this is one that we did when we did this cycle last time around and I remember it being a lot of fun for our students we had a younger class and um, they had a lot of fun um, putting all the planets on and, and naming the planets because um, that's been in our our new grammar so we know the names of the planets and it just is another way to kind of reinforce how our solar system is laid out in the different parts and the different planets and it's just a lot a really fun craft project too so there's a lot of different ways that you can do this our foundations guide on page um, 193 has a lot of suggestions um, Nicole Liam science script from CC connected she also has some suggestions and some pictures of some ideas and some pictures of the planets and so you're just going to make a model of of the solar system. So you could take a, a black piece of paper, and we just took some some yellow uh, cardstock or construction paper to make a sun, and then you could use things. That we, these are uh, planet stickers. So these are just stickers that we placed, and we talked about the order of the planets. Uh, we took these maybe glitter. Um, glitter crayons or glitter markers or the even the glow in the dark um, markers or pins. We have a lot of fun with this um, to make the asteroid belt between um, Mars and Jupiter. You could use things like um, the half dome um, jewels in different sizes um, or like the beads that are flat on one side and, and dome shaped on, on the top. So you can just kind of see what craft supplies you can find at a craft store, or you could get um, planet stickers. I'm sure um, places like Amazon or um, craft stores may have some planet stickers. Um, and just spend this time talking about, you know, the order of the planets. And again, you know, seeing what they remember about, you know, okay, what planet moves the fastest around the sun and which planet moves the slowest around the sun. And, um, you might even be able to bring up some of those facts that we talked about before. And um, which is a really fun uh, craft project and something fun that they can take home at the, at the end of the day. And um, I like, I wanted to share too on Nicole Liam's um, science script. Um, she asks, what would you find if you traveled to each planet? And she talks, has a little description about each planet and some of their characteristics. And, or how hot or how cold it is or what you would find on that planet or you know if it's covered with gas or, or even like a poisonous gas or it's very stormy or if it'd be really hot and dry and um, so like as they're um, creating these these layouts of the solar system or you, you could even bring a book from the library about the solar system or the different planets and Think about you know maybe reading to them from a library book about the solar system as they're creating these things and as they hear they soak up um, those facts and information and they might ask some good questions and um, that's just an uh, opportunity for good discussion as they're creating these these pictures so um, have fun with this and just encourage them to ask questions um, you know, whether you, you bring this to class or find a book on the solar system, be a fun opportunity just to read to them some more about the different planets and what we know about them so far. And, um, you know, you can get really specific about how far apart you place each planet on your paper. Um, the guide kind of suggests how far apart to place your planets, or you can just let them place them, um, help them place them in the right order. So kind of depending on the age of your students and um, that can kind of guide you on how technical to get with that. But 
it's a really fun project and I remember really enjoying it from last cycle. So have fun with this project and I'll see you guys soon.